Gattu's best friend. Long time ago, in a city, there lived a seven-year-old boy named Gattu. He used to live with his parents. Gattu was very good in both sports and academics, and that is why his parents and his teachers were very happy with him. There was a boy named Rahul in Gattu's class. Rahul and Gattu were very good friends. While Gattu was very gullible, on the other hand, Rahul was very mischievous. He always used to plan some mischievous act in his mind. Then one day, the teacher told the students present in class, "Students, tomorrow I will take English exam. So everybody come prepared for tomorrow's exam. And remember, whoever will get poor marks, I will take that student to the principal, sir." Hearing this, Gattu got scared. Principal sir is very strict, so tomorrow I will come prepared for the exam. After the school got over, Gattu went straight back to home, and after having some food, he started studying. While he was studying, it got evening. When suddenly Rahul came into Gattu's room. Hey Rahul, when did you come to my house? I came here to take you to the park. Let's go to the park and play. But today I can't go to the park. I still have to read two more chapters. You also go home and prepare for tomorrow's exam. You know very well. It doesn't matter how many times I try, but I can't remember these chapters. Okay, then you go and play in the park, and you will pass the exam by copying from me. The next day, they did the same as they decided. When the exam started. At first, Gattu completed his own paper in a hurry, and then he let Rahul, who was sitting near to him, copy from his paper and helped him in cheating. Seeing Rahul get ten out of ten, the teacher thought, "Rahul spends all his day doing mischiefs. Then how could he get ten out of ten?" Thinking this, the teacher told the students, "Students." Tomorrow I will take your maths exam. Hearing this, Gattu told Rahul, "Rahul, don't worry. I will help you in tomorrow's exam also." The next day, like always, they both sat together to give the exam. But then suddenly the teacher told Gattu, "Gattu, you sit here with Sona." But teacher, I always sit here with Rahul. But today you will sit here. After the teacher said so, Gattu came and sat beside Sona, and Rahul gave the exam sitting all alone. Gattu was upset, so he finished his paper early. But all the time, Rahul kept thinking, "I don't know the answer to a single question. What to do now?" Seeing Rahul fail, Gattu and Rahul started crying. You told me that you will let me copy from your exam paper. Sorry, Rahul, but the teacher changed my seat. Seeing them cry, the teacher came closer and said, making them understand, Rahul, I knew you always pass the exam by copying from Gattu's answer sheet. So knowingly, I changed both of your sitting arrangements. And Gattu, more than Rahul, you need to learn this. Good friends always stop their friends from making mistakes. They don't hide their mistakes. So kids, what did you learn from this story? We should never hide our friends' mistakes. But like a good friend, we should always stop our friends from making mistakes. Time of a good friend. Long time back, there lived a boy named Gattu. with his parents in a city gattu's father was in the army so he used to get transferred from here to there gattu now we have to leave the city and go to mumbai why dad because i have been transferred to mumbai so now we have to go there okay a few days later gattu shifted to mumbai with his parents after few days Gattu started going to a new school. He went to some kids to make new friends. My name is Gattu. Will you be my friends? We both are one another's best friends. 
and we don't want any other friend. You go to Aditya. He has no friends. He can become your friend. Listening to them, Gattu went to Aditya. No one is becoming my friend. Will you be my friend? No problem. Even I don't have any friends. Come on, from today we both will be friends. Gattu was very happy to hear this. Okay, my name is Gattu. My name is Aditya. Thus, Gattu found his first friend in Mumbai. But this new friend of Gattu was very mischievous. He told Gattu, Gattu, come on, let's do some mischief. But if we do mischief, ma'am will scold us. If ma'am finds out, only then. <laughs> Just you keep your mouth shut, okay? Uh, uh, but come with me. Aditya and Gattu secretly went to Sona and Mona. Aditya picked up Sona's bag. Then both of them hid Sona's bag among the broken benches kept in the corner of the class and hurriedly sat down on their seats. Sona saw that her bag was missing. So she told ma'am crying. Ma'am, my bag went somewhere. <laughs> Whoever has hidden Sona's bag, give it back right now or else I will call principal sir. Gattu got scared hearing this. He told Aditya. Aditya, we should give back Sona's bag or else principal sir will punish us. Nothing will happen. You just shut up. Okay then, I will call principal sir right now. Ma'am called the principal sir. Principal sir asked the children. Tell the truth. Who has hidden Sona's bag? All right. Now everyone will stand on their seats. Your ma'am and I will search the whole class. Madam and principal sir started searching the whole class. Principal sir was looking for bags on each and every seat. Found it. Here is Sona's bag. But who must have kept it here? As always, Aditya must have done this mischief. Gattu is his friend. He must have been involved too. Gattu, did you know that Aditya had hid Sona's bag? Uh, 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 yes, yeah, sir. B but... So along with Aditya, you will also get punished. And the punishment for both of you is that you will stand with both hands up till the school is over. In this way, Gattu was punished on his first day in school due to his mischievous friend Aditya. So, children, this story teaches us that it is better to be alone than to be with bad people. Friendship Day It was Sunday. Gattu Chinki were playing video games. Dad got ready in a hurry and came down to the hall. Seeing Gattu Chinki, he said, Enough video games for today. Go and do your homework. Gattu Chinki did not pay attention to dad's words. That's when mom came to the hall and asked dad. Where are you going? Today is Sunday. Did you forget? Lakshmi Didi is going to come from the village today. I am going to the station to pick her up. Bhimu will also come. Gattu Chinki made faces on hearing Bhimu's name. Bhimu? I will leave now. When their father left saying this, Gattu and Chinki asked their mother. Mom, who is this Bhimu? Dad has a distant sister. Her son's name is Bhimu. He's just of your age. His mother is coming to the hospital, so he is also coming with her. Mom left after saying this. But Gattu and Chinki got caught in confusion. Oh God! We have to play with that Bhimu. Have to share everything with him. He's a villager. I have heard that the villagers are very strange people. Hopefully this Bhimu will not spoil our toys. Idea! Let's hide our toys and then we will sit down to do our homework. That way we will neither have to play with Bhimu nor we have to share anything. Gattu Chinki came into their room and hides all the toys. Gattu also hide his cycle and both sat in the hall and started doing homework. After a while, Dad came back home with Lakshmi Auntie and Bhimu. 
mother started greeting and welcoming them but gattu chinki did not pay attention to them how are you sister in law how are the kids we are fine but you came after a long time and bhimu how did you like your maternal uncle's house it's really big then dad started saying sister let's go we have an appointment at 2 o'clock bhimu you go and play with gattu chinki then dad saw that gattu and chinki were doing their homework never mind they will play with you later till then you watch tv dad and lakshmi auntie left mom turned on the tv for bhimu children i'm going to shukla auntie's house mom left after saying this as soon as mom left gattu chinki ran away from the hall and bhimu kept watching tv alone gattu chinki were playing video games in their room when bhimu came and sat beside them what are you playing why don't you go watch tv no i like to play then go and play how could i play alone you also come have you played tip cat you just sit quietly do you have cycles no you have mom was saying that you have cycles i don't have one i asked dad but he said grow up then i will give thus bhimu kept talking but gattu chinki neither answered his questions nor they talked to him in the afternoon gattu chinki took out their cycles and started playing in the society campus bhimu also followed them so gattu said why did you come here i was bored sitting all alone you have a nice bicycle you sit there and let us play poor bhimu sat down and gattu chinki started playing their cycles when mother came there she saw Bhimu was sitting alone and Gattu Chinki were enjoying the cycle rides. Seeing this mother got upset. It was night time. Dad and Lakshmi auntie came home. Then everyone ate dinner together and started talking while sitting in the hall. After a while Lakshmi auntie said, "Okay brother, we have to leave. We have a train at 9 o'clock." What is this? Stay here for a few days? No sister in law. Bhimu's father is all alone at home and Bhimu has school too. We will come later. Gattu and Chinki got happy seeing Bhimu return to village. That's when Bhimu said, "Mother, you are forgetting something." "Oh yes. Thank you for reminding me. Go bring the bag." Bhimu brought the bag. Lakshmi auntie gave a small satchel from the bag to Gattu Chinki's mother and said, "There are wild berries in it. They are very tasty." Bhimu himself has bought it from the forest. He was saying if we go to maternal uncle's house then we will take berries for Gattu and Chinki. Where will they get such fine berries in the city? Many thorns pricked his feet while getting them. But he still brought the berries. When mom looked at Gattu and Chinki both of them were crying. Mom understood everything and told Bhimu, "You brought it for Gattu Chinki, right? So go give it to them with your own hands." Bhimu came to Gattu Chinki with the satchel of plums and said, "Take this. I have brought it from the forest myself. If you taste one berry, you will eat all the berries." Hearing this, Gattu Chinki suddenly started crying and hugged Bhimu with tears in their eyes. Seeing this, mom, dad and Lakshmi auntie, everyone's eyes filled with tears.